All right, hey viewers, this is Watch Me SC, and here we go. This is a Let's Play League of Legends commentary. So this should be fun. I random into Morgana this time. It's a low-level game. I have a cold, so I'm gonna be sniffling and acting a fool. Go ahead and hit him with a Q. Deal a little more damage to him. And that's all he's getting out of me. Cause I need to go up there now. And I'm running exhaust and ghost. Let's see what the passive is. She has 15% spell vamp, so that's interesting. It's gonna help keep her alive. And her Q is Dark Binding, it's that ability that you see her shoot all the time where it sticks you to the ground and deals damage over time. Oh, and I got two guys up here. <coughs> Shaco and, um, what's her name? Kale, that's the one. Oh, got a nice whiff there. Hopefully I can at least get a last hit out of it. So I've never used Morgana before, so this should be interesting, but this is what that's... This is what that's for and getting hit with the Q here oh, dealing a little bit of damage to her not too much I'm gonna try to tank a couple of these hits just so the tower doesn't get too low and we're gonna go with the stupid fly on my arm get off and tormented soil is the skill I chose next which is um, basically you deal damage over an area over five seconds lowers their magic resist some so that's pretty good. Oh, I overcommitted a little bit there. Luckily, Kale didn't punish me with a slow. And now I guess I'm going to put a point in Black Shield just to be safe. And then I'll probably focus on uh, Dark Binding or the Soil, depending on if Master Yi ever decides to come up here. Looks like he's jungling, so I think the Soil is probably going to be the better bet to get um, some farming going on. Looks like the cooldown is pretty low, so that's good. I don't really know what to build for Morgana, so I'm going to probably just go with somewhat tanky HP, AP items like Rylai's or, um, I don't know, Rod of Ages, stuff like that. Maybe an Archangel Staff to increase my AP some. And I think, like I said, I think I'm definitely going to be focusing on the soil because it's gonna help me just farm the minions a little easier and get a little bit more gold and help keep my tower alive here so I know I haven't been doing too many commentaries but it's because I'm my new girlfriend and we've been hanging out a lot so I haven't had as much time looks like I'm taking another little blast from Kale and toss a little bit of damage there on Shaco looks like he's going in for an attack a deceive into uh, whatever the fuck that thing is called, twin shiv or whatever. And I'll put down my tormented soil there just to deal some damage, like I said. Try to get a little bit of gold. And looks like my mana is staying pretty high up there so I can continually use this soil and my spell vamp to stay alive. And hopefully I'm, that's my plan, so hopefully it works. Alright, I tried to use my E there, but I think I hit R, so that's how that went. Now I'm going to let them push into the tower a little bit just to see if I can get off a dark binding and to let the tower uh, help me get some of these kills. Alright, take a little bit of the strain off my mana for just a second because I'm getting about halfway here. My regen is pretty alright though, I got 12 per 5. Gain a little bit of experience there. You want to make sure you're in the range of experience points when you're um, trying to lane, especially 2v1. You need to make sure they don't push you. Well, sometimes you can't, but you got to try your best to make sure they don't push you too far away from like the whole, all of the experience. You have to be within a certain distance to get experience from kills. So you want to be in that range for sure. And now, here's the ultimate. And it deals damage to nearby enemies and slows their movement speed. And then if he, she stays within the range for full four seconds, they are dealt additional damage and become stunned. So it's a pretty interesting ultimate. You kind of have to be all up in there, though, to make it work. I didn't even see that animation. Didn't even see that freaking slow coming at me. Looks like we're doing pretty good here with uh, zero kills. And two deaths. 
Hopefully Master Yi is doing good jungling. Looks like we got Ash versus Teemo in the mid. And Shen versus Shen and Malzahar bottom versus Singed and another Master Yi. Put a soil down there. Looks like that was somewhat of a whiff, but I still got a fair amount off of it. Missed the last hit there. Morgana's a pretty tanky champion. She's ends up with like a fair amount of hit points, and if you build her right, she's pretty difficult to kill with her black shield and all her skills combined. And looks like I was a little late on that one, but it happens. Now we're gonna knock away this stupid fly that's been annoying the hell out of me. And Shaco might try to come in here for kill. I am pretty low right now, so I need to be careful. I could definitely die if I don't play this one smart. And I'm really low on mana here, so I don't have enough for only one skill. So I definitely need to be careful right now. And let some mana build up. Uh, I whiffed on both of those last hits. Uh-oh. Alright, so I'm just going to kind of wait around here. Let my HP build up because I need someone to cover this lane real quick. Running low on mana. And we got top of my... And now we're going to go back. Back diddy back back. And the items we're going to go for, I'm probably just going to go for something like this, which is, oh, there's a stupid fly. We're going to grab the blasting wand first. We're going to go the scion build. I wonder what her AP ratio is. Ugh, doesn't look good. At least not on the soil. But I guess it deals damage to an area, so it's not so bad. Looks like Master Yi isn't doing too horribly jungling. Level 5 is a little low, but it's alright. Looks like he was about to go in for an Alpha Strike there, but he was like, eh, I don't know if I want to end up next to those two champions. And now we're going to go in there for it. And I got the kill there. Shaq goes up next. Almost got the kill there. Not quite though. Looks like mid's MIA, so... Oh, there she is. Okay. Showed up just in time for me to feel safe. Let's see if I can't get some HP back here. And I don't think we're going to be able to get Shaco here, but... Oh, no. Just missed him. Thought I might be able to curve around the side of that skinny minion. Like, you look like you've been working out. You can probably fit this around you, right? I hope so. So if you notice there on that kill, I used my Tormented Soil to predict where Kale was going to have to move through to either evade my ultimate or escape back to her tower the quickest possible. And it ended up that she had to run through it. So, Master Yi, go there, Master Yi. Alright, now, if only, I don't think I'm going to be able to get her. Don't think I'm going to be able to get her. Okay, so we're going to call out one top. Shaco and my Oh, Marie, he's back. Alright, so neither of them have buffs. Level 7, level 6. I'm pretty lo relatively low on HP to be fighting two champions. So we're just going to go ahead and put that down. Try to get some gold... Looks like that worked. Actually, now that I think about it, 
so that's every second. So it does add 50 AP, so I guess it does have a relative 1 to 1 ratio. Which is good. I was just reading it wrong, because I'm a noob. Because I was like, that seems like it's doing a fair amount of damage more now. Alright, so, so far I'm doing pretty solid as Morgana here, defending with tower. Um, obviously this is a low level game, so I'm not going to say that these are the best people, but this is my first time as Morgana, and I think I'm doing pretty alright. Picked up a kill with my ultimate, so now I got some low low mana here. I'm not going to be able to do too much work. I'm not going to be able to put in too much work, but... I should be able to kill a few of these minions. Oh, here comes Shaco. Don't forget Kale's in the brush. With her slow, it's probably pretty high level. Looks like I missed out on the experience there, if you noticed. I was a little too far away. And now we're just going to put that down. I can take the blast now. Alright, now I need to go back because I'm really low on mana. So I guess I'm going to go for Boots 1 and I'm going to go for Rod of Ages, I guess. Just to be a little tanky here, we don't have, I mean, we got Shen, but. And I like to get boots early just because, especially on the early levels, you're just so slow. Alright, now I got.